Hey everyone, Test Tech here, and today we'll be talking about the two new processors launched by Intel. The 7 Gen CPU's codename KB Lake, a refreshed version of the older Skylake processors. We will see a difference in the two CPUs, i7-7700K and i5-7600K, and their predecessors, i7-6700K and i5-6600K respectively. The new 7 Gen i7-7700K has a base frequency of 4.2 GHz, which is 200 MHz more than the older 6600K, and the boost frequency is 4.5 GHz, which is 300 MHz more than the older one. The rest of the cores, threads, and TDP are the same as the KB Lake undergoes the same 14 nanometer architectural manufacturing. This trend continues with the i5-7600K. As we see, the base frequency as well as the boost frequency is 300 MHz more than its predecessor 6600K. Intel will release more of their 7th generation processors later in first quarter of 2017. The lineup is shown in the table. The most interesting of all these processors is the i3-7350K. An i3 chip having two cores and four threads have a base frequency of 4.2 GHz. Having no boost frequency can be overclocked also. This whole lineup depicts that 7 Gen is a refreshed version of Skylake processors with higher frequencies out of the box and more features like speed shift version 2 technology which means processors can jump from low frequency to higher in much less time than before. The KB Lake CPUs have same 1151 socket type that means you can use it on your older Skylake builds but a new chipset is released for the new gen CPUs, the Z270. The PCI 3.0 lanes have been increased to 24 up from G170's 20. The benchmark result shows that the gaming performance is not affected by the newer CPUs other than increase in one or two frames in average FPS. The results show that if the processor is overclocked higher, the performance increases. So if we overclock an i7-6700K to 4.5 GHz, then the processor will show a very similar results because the 7700K is clogged at 4.5 GHz out of the box. For more detailed results and benchmarks, I will be linking down the sources and articles if you are interested for more details. My final verdict of these two processors is you don't need to an upgrade if you are already on a Skylake CPU. But if you are on an older generation like Haswell, then you will see significant performance boost on these new chips. These 7 gen CPUs doesn't have much improvement over Skylake rather than increased frequency out of the box for current users. The competition will grow when the new AMD Zen processors comes out. That will make some waves in the CPU market also. Those processors are also promised to come out in the first quarter of 2017. CES 2017 has started where manufacturers will be showing off their new products. The new Z270 motherboards are also out so there will be an upcoming video on the Asus Z270 series motherboards. So stay tuned to this channel, hit that like button, comment down there what do you think about the new KVLA processors and if you are new to this channel click that subscribe button for more future updates and game streams. Till then take care of yourself, keep learning and Tech will see you in the next video.